Hallelujah. Glory to God. Satan lose. Hey, you may be fighting something to this morning and you've been confessing. Now, we know that Satan has already lost the battle. Hallelujah. Because Jesus took his stripes and his battle with healing. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. One minute. <laughs> hey, there goes my music. Yeah, let's go. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Jesus is the winner, man. Yes. You may have been confessing and you may not have gotten all of your healing, but you are victorious because of Jesus. Now, some of you are trying real hard. Okay, but you've got, you've got to get that island attitude. Island attitude when you sing Everybody this song. Say, Jesus, is Jesus says, the winner, man. The winner, man. No, not the wiener, man. That's Oscar Mayer, not, you know. Jesus, Jesus is. is the winner, man. Jesus, Jesus is. is the winner, man. Good morning, Michelle, Jesus girl. Is. Jesus is the winner, man. The winner, man. We're going to sing this. Regardless of what's going on in your life, you are a winner. Hey, you got to get the island attitude. He said, right? Fun to see. The fun to see. Hey, Satan. It is a fun to see. Such fun to see. Woo! Satan lose. Yeah. The winner man, the winner man, the winner man. Oh, hallelujah. Mm. I am on. If you are on the winner's side, I want you to join me and sing it. I am on the winner's side. Oh, glory. Satan lose. Hey. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. In the wilderness, Satan lose again. Hey! You may be going to a wilderness experience, but Satan has lost. All right, let's crush his head. Hallelujah. It's a fantasy, a fantasy. Yeah. Satan, get the island attitude. Come on. The winner man, the winner man. Hallelujah, Jesus is the winner man. Woo! Hallelujah. At the crucifixion. Oh, yes, he lost. When he rose from the grave. Woo! Yes, Satan lose. Hey! When you were born again, Satan lost. Fantasy, a fantasy. Sing it. Satan lose. It is a fantasy, such fantasy. Oh, Satan lose. Yeah. Jesus is the winner man. The winner man. The winner man. Jesus is the winner man. The winner man. The winner man, the winner man, the winner man. Hallelujah. Woo, glory. Jesus says the winner man, the winner man. Come on. The winner man. Who? Winner. Come on. Seeing as though you know you are on the winner's side. The winner man. The winner. The winner. The winner. The winner man, Woo! Jesus is the winner man, the winner man, oh, hey, 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 Woo! Jesus is the winner man, hallelujah, to see such fun to see, yay, Satan lose, it is such so fun to see, such fun to see, yay, Satan lose. Hallelujah. He has lost. And he will continue to lose. Glory to God. That was Ron Cannoli. It's a fun to see Satan lose. And I had to sing this song this morning. You know, we've been declaring the word of God. We've been confessing the word of God. And it was yesterday, night before last night. Today was Wednesday, Monday night. 
I'm lying in my bed, took up my book, my, my iPad, and I was preparing to share uh, some prayers. And I'm about to, you know, type up my prayers and a confession. And this right side of my body immediately, for no apparent reason, but we know what it is, pain, a severe pain in this hand. I could not lift my right hand. Do you hear me? <laughs> and I said, okay. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke you, those spirit of informity. I know that God, through his word, has been doing damage in the enemy's kingdom, in Satan's kingdom. He's mad. And so he brought this pain on me. And at the back, I'm hearing him saying, uh-huh. The last, a few times before we tried to bring stroke on the, on, on the left side, and he's trying the right side. Man, I start confessing that word. I start confessing that word. I had to get a pillow. and I mean, I couldn't get out of bed. You know, you want to get up, you have to brace yourself. It was so painful. And I put the pillow and I said, in the name of Jesus, by the stripes of Jesus, I'm healed. And then yesterday morning, I prayed. I was in my bed almost for a good while. And then I got up and I said, you know what? You got to leave my body. You're illegal. Regardless of what you do, I'm going to declare the word of God. This hand could not be lifted like this, but it's lifting this morning. So I got up and I start singing and I start dancing. I start singing, I start dancing, and I was just crushing the enemy's head. Man, I was crushing his head. And I took my hands and I lifted up and I danced and I danced and I said, you're going to leave my body. And today to God be the glory. Hey, Jesus is the winner man. Somebody say, Jesus is the winner man. And we are on the winner side. And it is fun to see. It's such a fun to see. Satan, you lose. Hey, and you will continue to lose because we are victorious. Because of the stripes that Jesus took on his back. Everyone that's been confessing and declaring the word of God in the name of Jesus. Every tormenting spirit, every spirit of retaliation. We break your struggle right now in the name of Jesus. Be gone. Be gone. You will not mess with our bodies. We are our bodies. At the temple of the living God. And I will continue to declare the works of the Lord. So take your sickness and go in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. And right now, we come against every plan of the enemy. Every manipulating, lying demon that has been messing with the child of God. We command you to, we break your struggle right now. We command you to flee in the name of Jesus. The spirit of retaliation and want to touch the people of God's bodies that have been confessing and declaring the word of God. You will go. You will go. The blood of Jesus is against you. And we serve you the back of Jesus. Satan, look on the back of Jesus. He took those stripes in his back for a healing. Therefore, you will not mess with our bodies. Our bodies are the temple of the living God. We belong to God. And let us declare this. Let us confess. As we declare the word today, we're going to, re we're going to repeat the word of God. We're going to cleanse ourselves. So let's say, search me, O God. Know my heart today. Try me, O oh Savior. Know my thoughts, I pray. See if there be some wicked way in me. Cleanse me, Lord, from every sin and set me free. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And Father, right now I, I pray over this broadcast. It would not be interrupted. Everyone listening to it would hear clearly what you have to say to your people this morning. Every stronghold is broken. Every Every blindness, spiritual blindness, every blind eye is open in the name of Jesus. Every scale is falling. Every deaf ears is open. They will hear the word of God clearly as God wants them to hear it. And I thank you that lives are changed. Lives are changed. People are coming to know the Lord God. And man, the faith of your people are, lift, are rising in you this morning, Father. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Let's say the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe again. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. I run into it and I am safe. Hallelujah. Regardless of what the enemy wants to bring on us, we are safe. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, glory, glory. I just love the word of God. So last week, we are... Uh, we're talking about calling what you want. We're calling what we want. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, we worship you today. Thank you for your word. So today, we will continue with that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Okay, so we will continue from where we left off, and then we will go into God wants to be involved in your finances. Hallelujah. So we stopped at page 94 and we are reading from this book written by Charles Capps, 
God's creative power. And if you've joined us for the first time, we were declaring the word of God, confessing healing over our body, over our, over, over our bodies, over sickness. We were confessing healing, declaring the word of God powerful scripture verses so we would finish off today and hopefully go into finances hallelujah okay page 95 if you have the book your body will respond to the demands of the human spirit if you feel the spirit one minute please glory to god scripture reference okay your body will respond to the demands of the human spirit if you feed the spirit man God's word, it will make demands on the flesh to line up with the word of God. When you exercise, you demand more energy from your body. The heart beats faster. More blood flow brings more oxygen to your body cells. And your body responds to your demands in a natural manner. But you must make demand on it before it will respond. Even your dog or cat will respond to the command of your voice. How much more shall your body respond to the demands made upon it by the word of God spoken out of your mouth? The truth is your body always responds to your voice in some manner whether for better or either sorry for better or worse that's why we keep emphasizing death and life are in the power of the town your body would respond if you confess negative things it would confess to the negative things if we confess positive things especially the word of god it will respond so charles cap says choose your words carefully let's say that i will choose my words carefully glory to god several years ago an article appeared in the an article appeared in the Shireen, sorry, Shetreve Port, Louisiana Times, written by a neurosurgeon. The title of the article was Talk to Your Body to Rid MS. He was using a method he called mental exercise, which involves literally telling your body what to do. This is in the medical field. So you see, as I said last week, as in the natural and in all of these things in the Bible, it has been proven medically. Many of them. He offered examples such as a diabetic who instructs his pancreas to secrete insulin or a person with hypertension to say several times a day, my blood pressure is 120 over 80. He said it makes no difference whether the patient knows where his pancreas is or what 120 over 80 means. What 120 over 80 means. It makes no difference if the patient knows where the pancreas is situated in his body or what 120 over 80 means. The body knows. The body knows where it is. So they speak to the body. There is more truth in Mark eleven twenty three, and I'm going to read that for you. Mark eleven twenty three says, For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass, he shall have whatever he said. That's what it says. So there is more truth to that scripture that I just read than more people realize. You can have what you say in faith, but most people are saying what they have. Now, I want you to say this after me. I can have what I say in faith. Again, I can have what I say in faith. Therefore, I will confess the word of God in faith over my life. Again, I can have what I say in faith. Therefore, I will confess the promises of God, the word of God over my life in faith. Hallelujah. God created man's body to live forever, but sin brought the curse of sickness and death. The human body has an inherent ability to heal itself, but because of improper chemical balance and improper functioning of certain organs, Certain medicines and chemicals will aid the body in the healing process. 
But God's word, listen to this, God's word is the original and most powerful medicine available today. Let's say that God's word is the original and the most powerful medicine available today. It was his word that created the human body. It is the original medicine sent for the specific purpose of healing. Let's read Psalm 107, 20 says, He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. That's God. Hallelujah. Medical science is finding that the principle of Mark eleven twenty three, meaning what you say, you speak to your body, they're finding that this principle really works even to bring health to our physical bodies. God said it and the medical science has proven it. Oh, hallelujah. The word of Jesus in Luke 17, 6, which says, It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. That's the King James Version. And the New Living Translation says, The spirit alone gives eternal life. Human effort accomplishes nothing. Hallelujah. So it is the word, it was his word that created a human body. It is the original medicine sent for the specific purpose of healing, which is we read in Psalm 107, 20 just now. Medical science is finding that the principle of Mark 11, 23 really works even to bring health to our physical bodies. The words of Luke 17, 6. Oh, I, I got the wrong scripture. I'm sorry. I'm going to get it later. The one I read wasn't the correct one. I got 62 instead of 6. Okay, that's my mistake. So Luke 17.6, and for the sake of time, you can read that. Luke 17.6, just realize I made that mistake. Okay, it's right there. Luke 17.6, ring clear. And it says there, he has it right in the book. If you had faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye might say unto this sacrament tree, be thou plucked up by the root and be thou planted in the sea and it shall obey you that's luke 6 luke uh luke 17 6. the interlinear greek english new testament says it would obey you jesus is not literally talking about literal trees here but problems you face in life whatever problems you face in life when you say speak to the mountain He's talking about um, if you have a faith as the grain of mustard seed, you speak to that mountain. He's not really talking about the trees, be the, talking to the sycamore tree, be moved and be cast there. It's not really the three. It's just that he's referring to any problems that we have in our lives. Whether you are calling for your blood pressure to be 120 over 80 or confessing that your pancreas secretes the proper amount of insulin, there is always someone that wants to accuse you of lying hmm. because they don't understand the principles of faith. You're confessing by the stripes of Jesus, I'm healed, I'm healed. And you might be limping or you might still be showing symptoms of the, the sickness that you, you, you're confessing, you're healed from. And people are like, why don't you accept it? You're lying. You're not healed. But they do not understand the principle. Remember, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So knowing God, knowing he sent his son Jesus who took the stripes on his back for healing, and he said healing is the children's bread. So we confess that we receive that gift of healing, and we confess it knowing it is ours. And I'm a living example. I confessed for a while. It took me six years before I got healed of lupus and rheumatoid arthritis, but I'm healed. I'm well healed. There's no returning to that. So it may take longer for some individuals. Do not give up. Keep confessing the word. And I said it, even though I was in pain, by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. Hallelujah. Because, yeah, they will accuse you of lying because they don't understand the principles of faith. So it is not necessary to make your confessions before others. Make them to yourself in your own prayer time as you fellowship with the Lord. Remember, when you are sick, call yourself well. Let's say that when I'm sick, I will call myself well. Hallelujah. For you are calling for what you don't have. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
if you put this into practice and make it a way of life, then your body will respond to your faith demands. Again, if you put this into practice and make it a way of life, then your body would respond to your faith demands that are based on the authority of God's holy word. Your body would respond in the faith demands that's based on the authority. See, God's word is life. It's power. And when we speak it, it has power. It's not just something you just confess like that. No. So based on the word and your confession, it's, it's, it's done. It's done. The authority, there's power and authority in the word of God. No, it won't happen just because you say it. But saying it is involved in causing it to happen. Okay? Not just because you say it's going to happen, but that's the part. It has to come from your mouth. You have to confess it. Saying it is involved in causing it to happen. Saying it, the way you plant, saying it is the way you plant the seed for what you need. The spoken word of God imparts spirit life into your physical body. Again, the spoken word of God imparts spirit life into your physical body. John 6, 6 to 3, and you could look at that. For the word is incorrupt is incorrupt incor incorruptible seed and it produces after its kind. The word of God is incorruptible seed and it produces after its kind. Child Caps continue to say, I challenge you to set aside a time by yourself daily to fellowship with God, make it a practice to meditate on his word by speaking it to your body. Do it two or three times a day. Remember, this is your medication. You go to the doctor, you say, take these capsules or take whatever it is, three times a day, maybe before meals, after meals. Here, Charles Caps is telling us the same thing. Read the word of God. Meditate on his word by speaking it to your body. That's what I did yesterday. I told that pain you got to leave by the stripes of Jesus. Jesus took the stripes on his back for my healing. Therefore, you are illegal in my body. Get out. And I said to the enemy, you would not. All the, the, the things that you bring in against me to slow me down from confessing the word of God, to slow me down from ministering and preaching the word of God. I, my body is the temple of the living God. My body is well. I have the mind of Christ. I have the strength of God to accomplish the purpose that God has for my life. I spoke to my body. I confessed the word of God and I'm a living example. Hallelujah. So again, he challenged us to set aside a time every day, fellowship with God, read the word, do it through or three times, then double up on your confession in the area you have the most problem so whatever area if it's finances you confess the word over finances if it's healing you confess it over that whatever area pray the word over your body declare it to be true until you are fully persuaded just keep saying it and i'm saying this to you sometimes the moment you start confessing the pain would increase. The condition would appear to get worse, but you know what that is? That's the spirit of retaliation. The enemy is bringing on that pain or bringing, making that condition look worse. So you would say, oh, it is not working. No, God is not hearing my prayer. So I'm just going to stop. He wants to shut you down. He wants to keep you quiet. But the word, I said, you know what? When you mess with me, it's the loud I'm going to get. It's the more I'm going to confess God's word. So you have to, you got to push people. Like woman, you know when you're in labor and the pain is coming on. And they say push. And sometimes you don't want to push because it's so much pain. Because you know. So you got to push. You got to push. When the pain may be coming on, or whatever you're asking God for healing. And it may look, it may look like it's gotten worse. You keep confessing. You got to push. There is victory in that push oh my goodness oh glory to god so we continue do not be persuaded declare it to be true until you are fully persuaded your body will respond to your voice how much more will it respond to god's word spoken in truth hallelujah again it's medically proven our body responds to our voice and charles caps is saying it your body responds to your voice. How much more will it respond to God's word spoken in truth? God's word is life. Let's say this. God's word is life. God's word is power. God's word is truth. Therefore, I will daily confess it over my life. Again, God's word is life. 
God's word is power. God's word is truth. Therefore, I will daily confess it over my life. Hallelujah. And now we would move on to God's creative power for finances. Hallelujah. Introduction. The purpose of this book, because Charles Caps, he has this book, but he has several tiny books, little booklets, one that speaks about finances, one that speaks about healing. One So there's several little books he put together in this one book. Okay, so it says the purpose of this book, as in many previous books, God's creative power will work for you and God's creative power for healing is to reveal, those are the two other books and this one, is to reveal the principles of God's power so that you may cooperate with and apply these principles to your daily life. The Word of God is not simply a storybook. No, it's not simply a storybook, though sometimes it's entertaining. I said to people, you want to get a real action movie? You go to the Word of God, go to Revelation, and you go to Kings. Man, some real action is going on there. But anyway, we go back to that. The Word of God is not simply a storybook, history book, or a religious book. God's Word is creative power. Let's say that. God's Word is creative power. That power is still in the word, but for it to work for you, it must be released by being spoken in faith. Now, I want you to say this with me as I say it after me. For God's word to work for me, it must be released by being spoken in faith. In order for God's word to work for me, it must be released by being spoken, by speaking it in faith. Unfortunately, okay, the power, okay, the power is still in the word, but for it to work for you, it must be released by being spoken in faith. Unfortunately, most people are speaking words of fear and failure, my goodness, speaking often of the